Hello everyone, this is Pocket Monster Video, and today I'm going to show you my first ever PSA return video. Uh, this is my first time ever sending anything to PSA, and for those that don't know, that's the Professional Sports Authenticators. They're basically a company you can send any of your trading cards or Pokemon cards or other sports memorabilia, like baseball cards or ticket stubs. You can send them in, they will grade them on how the quality of the card or the ticket stub. They'll encapsulate them so they can't be tampered with. Uh, label them and then send them back to you. And of course, this is uh, all costs a certain amount of money, ranging from maybe five dollars per card as much as I think one hundred dollars per card if you have a very valuable card. Um, and so I sent these cards in maybe almost a month ago. It took them um, it said it would take them ten business days. It took them closer to about fifteen or sixteen business days to send them back, plus a few more days for shipping both ways. Um, but overall, I'm pretty happy with the service. Uh, so just uh, as a forewarning, I sent about I have about seven or eight cards here today to show, and I first sent these in as sort of a test to see what range these cards would get. I've never done this before, so it's hard to know exactly how good these cards would be graded. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the results. So anyway, I'll start with the lowest grade and work my way up, and um, hopefully you guys enjoy some of these cards. So the first one up is a. Uh, promotional Pikachu card. It's number 27 of the promo series and it received a excellent to mint grade 6 up here at the top and it is like I said number 27. I'm actually a little surprised it only received a 6. I'm not totally sure uh, what is wrong with the card. Judging from the back there's really very little edge wear. There's probably some small scratch that I haven't thoroughly located yet, but overall um, not too bad. It's kind of a fun card. I like the artwork quite a bit. So, moving on to my next card. This is the only other grade 6 that I received. It is a first edition holographic Brock's Rhydon from the Gym Heroes set. And as you can see, uh, it's, it's a pretty shiny card. It's kind of nice. It's a first edition stamp, Gym Heroes. Uh, not too bad of shape. I think what hurt this card mostly was if you look carefully the top and the bottom are um, not really centered very well, it's somewhat off-center, and they grade uh, pretty strongly on centering of cards. So this is actually probably a very fair grade, and the centering is something that I didn't realize at the time. I wasn't, I didn't pay close enough attention to that um, factor, but uh, not a bad card overall. And I, unfortunately, like I said, the off-center, I sent in some other cards in a different set that I'll show on here maybe in a week or two, and when they come back, and I know some of those also were a bit off-center, so I'm guessing I've got a few other possibly low grades coming up, but that's okay. It's kind of, like I said, a little bit of a learning experience this first time around. And so this is actually my favorite of every Pokemon. This is my favorite one is a Gengar, and it's a first edition holographic Sabrina's Gengar from the Gym Hero set. It was given a 7, which is a near mint, and it's a pretty nice card. There's if you, it's hard to get it in the video, but there are some light scratches along here, the holographic part, which is probably why it received um, only a seven. But it, and it's slightly also again off center a little bit. The bottom is definitely visibly noticeable, uh, larger than the top. But overall, kind of a fun card. I really like Gengar, so I'm very happy with this card. I was wanting to get it graded regardless of the result, so I'm very happy to add it to my collection. So moving on, we have about uh, six cards left, I would say. I have a, this is the very first promo card, um, as far as the numbering is concerned. It's promo card number one, Pikachu. Uh, it came out in about 1999. It was given a seven near mint. I don't, again, not sure why it wasn't a little bit higher graded, but this is where my inexperience comes in. But if you look carefully, there's sort of, um, there's actually a small scratch on the outside of the case, but here... It's a very small mark that may have affected it, but it's a very first promo card as far as the numbering. I think there were 1 through 36, I think, was the first set of promo cards, so I wanted to get this. But um, I will come back to this card. I have a reason I'll come back to it. So the next card is a Venusaur Holographic from Base Set. It's not first edition or shadowless or anything like that, just a very simple Venusaur from Base Set. And it's a nice card. I've always liked this one also. It's one of the reasons. Simply, I don't think it has a lot of value, but I thought it'd be fun to get it graded. 
and it was a near mint to mint 8 was the grade so it's a pretty nice grade one of the top three grades you can get there's a little bit if you look carefully a little bit of corner wear on those two corners which is probably why the grade was reduced from the highest grades possible so the next card and this is why I mentioned that uh, I'll come back to that first Pikachu card this is actually a first edition promo Pikachu which is actually a misprint apparently that came in the jungle set so some of the first edition jungle booster packs instead of having a the uh, what was supposed to be the Pikachu card actually had the promo card inserted now that's what I've been told based on um, what I've learned online and as you can see side by side they're essentially identical except this one on the left has the first edition mark and as far as I know no other promo card has ever had a first edition stamp on it so this was just a, a case of a misprint now when I remember as a kid when I got this card I thought I was given it as a Pokemon League promotional card with the first edition stamp on there because I don't remember ever opening a jungle first edition booster as a kid and I don't remember trading for this but from what I've read online it seems like most people agree that this came from jungle packs that were first edition as a misprint and so looking on eBay I've seen this card ungraded in pretty good shape sell for ninety to a hundred dollars now I've never seen there's one card I've noticed that is PSA graded on eBay of this card but it's only graded as, as authentic so it doesn't have a numerical grade it's just merely graded that PSA states that it is what it's supposed to be but they did not give their opinion on the actual uh, quality of the card so as far as I know this is the only I've never seen another PSA graded um, first edition promo Pikachu on eBay before. I've been looking for a few months and haven't seen anything like this. So I'm not sure exactly what the value of this card is, but I would guess it's worth more than the $100 that the ungraded cards go for. So this is probably personally my most valuable card in my entire collection at this point. Uh, if it would have been graded Gem Mint 10, which is the highest grade you can receive, it possibly would be worth quite a lot of money. But even as a Mint 9, I think this card is worth, I would estimate, at least $150 to $200. But that's total speculation on my part. I really have no comparison, except that I know the ungraded cards will go for about $100. So it's a very cool card. I'm very, very happy that I um, found it in my collection from a kid, from when I was a kid. And I actually had it just stuck between a few of the non-first edition Pikachu, so I almost overlooked it. Uh, so I was kind of lucky to find it in there. Very happy about it. So then moving along to another Mint 9, I have a Mint 9 Base Set 2 Charizard. So this is the sort of the reprint of the, I think it was Base Set and Jungle cards were reprinted in Base Set 2. And so not nearly as valuable as the Base Set Charizard, but it's still a very fun card. It looks almost identical to the Base Set Charizard. The only difference is the holographic pattern is a different style, and it has the Base Set 2 stamp, and I believe has a different numbering scheme at the bottom. So again, this was a Mint 9, and, you know, very good shape. It's a Mint card. Uh, really happy to get this uh, encased like this. I think these probably go for maybe, I would guess, 30 to $50 on eBay. They base set two Charizards in this condition. So it's a pretty valuable card overall. Kind of a, very happy to have it in my collection. And what's nice about it is I actually have two of them. So they both were graded in Mint 9, so I'm uh, almost... I'm 100% certain I will be selling at least one of these on eBay, and I'll maybe uh, do a video in the future mentioning what some of these cards I'm selling for on eBay, what they go for, actually. So two of those Mint 9 Base Set 2 Holographic Charizards. And then the very last card I sent in is also a Charizard, and is actually the highest grade you can receive. It was a Gem Mint 10 Charizard. So the top grade you can receive from PSA is not actually mint, it's above that, it's a gem mint 10. And this was actually a, it's obviously uh, Japanese, and it's a CD promo, um, I think it was, it's according to this uh, PSA um, numbers at the top, it was released in 1998, but it's a CD promo. There's a very small lightning bolt symbol here, 
It is number six. I think there were only nine cards of the CD promos, but I'm not totally sure. And it's a really, really nice looking card. It's the original artwork of Charizard, the kind of artwork they used, I think, in the cartoon show and maybe the first Pokemon game, the Pokemon Red. And I really like this card. Really nice original artwork. Really nice holographic pattern. Obviously, it's in uh, essentially almost perfect condition as a Gem Mint 10. And so what's really nice about these PSA cases is that it'll keep these cards uh, in this very nice condition. The only thing I'm aware of is that the PSA card cases are not UV resistant. So if you ever get your cards PSA encased and you decide you want to display them, if you do so in any sort of area where there's lots of light hitting them, over time the cards will fade. It might take a very long amount of time, but it definitely can happen. So you have to be very careful about showcasing your cards that are PSA encased. But overall, uh, I'm very happy with how things turned out for my first uh, submission to PSA. Um, I think the service was pretty good. I emailed them a few times along the way to ask how uh, for updates, and they were very nice about the updating process. They were a little bit slower than what they said they would take, but if you look very carefully, they say their times are estimated, so um, you can't really complain too much about that. But it's a very good service, very nice. If you become a, a member of their collector's club, you can ship uh, a bulk rate to them of cards, maybe 10 or more, and you'll get a discounted price. So it's uh, somewhat worthwhile if you expect to send quite a few cards into them. I know there's also, I think, Beckett is another company that does a grading service, but Beckett, as far as I can tell, uh, PSA has the highest resale value for their cards. For some reason, people don't seem to value the Beckett grading as well. So I think for resale purposes especially, uh, PSA is probably the way to go. But overall, um, you probably can't go wrong. And I really had a great time getting these cards sent in and getting them back. So if you have any questions about the process, I will be glad to explain and help you out. But hopefully this video was fun for you, and thank you for watching.